recent report shows the economy has improved significantly for all Americans during President Obama's time in office. But there are still specific issues that African American women are affected by, and one organization is calling that community to action. Sandra Finley joining us. She's an economic development advocate and president and CEO of the League of Black Women. Thanks for coming back and, and joining us today because this is something that we should really be interested in, especially during this political year, don't you think? I think everything is about the now of it. Yeah. Uh, you said a little earlier about the uh, economy recovering. It has, but we are like the lower, the lower part of the wave of the recovery. We would be, if, if there was a big tsunami coming, we would be the water that got to the beach last. Oh, okay. And so we're still feeling the effects of everything that was hard and harsh about the recession. And unlike some other industries, if you will, or populations where the government stepped in right, to help. help to help out, there's no help in stepping in our direction. Is that why we're the worst off, African American women? Well, actually, I think so. I mean, it, it, you want to add the, the generations of lack of investment in our ambition and our potential, mm -hmm. and then you want to add the prospects of everything being renewed and made yeah. new by the new times coming, and then you want to add but that investment not being made in black women's mm -hmm. ambition and our possibilities. And so you have all of this combining to give us what we have today, where we are highly educated, but mm -hmm. we can't get jobs that are in keeping with right. what it is that we're prepared to do. We are, um, our savings have been depleted. Our uh, investment uh, has been uh, not yielding what it is that we thought that it would be. Mm -hmm. And then you have presidential candidate who tells us, look, you got nothing to lose. And what he's really saying is that we have nothing. Who, which candidate would be better off for African-American women? As a matter of fact, we ask African-American women to take a look at what it is that you want to do with your vote other than give it away. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, say, who do I want to invest my vote with? Mm -hmm. And you make your choice there, then you're going to be. I, my own personal thought is that our bet is Hillary. Mm -hmm. But I'm not asking everybody to follow that. I am saying I have good logical reasons why. I've got a choice between a candidate who says, you got nothing to lose, you may as well go with me. I mean, you, you think about the low people in your life who have told you to do things that weren't good for you because you had nothing. Right. And then you think about other people who have said, listen, invest with me, and then tell me what it is you need, and then I'll bring that your way. But if you feel a black president didn't help, what makes you think a woman president, president a female president, why would that help? Well, I actually think the black president, Barack Obama, did help. Mm -hmm. But I think what he did was help during one of the lowest periods of our nation's history. And so at the same time while we were hoping that his election would bring some more direct aid and assistance to our community, because actually he knows us very well, mm -hmm. he was literally trying to save the Titanic mm -hmm. at the same time. There's so many holes that he had to plug up. Well, it was huge. I mean, mm -hmm. one hand <laughs> steering the let's, let's not go mm -hmm. down to the sea in ships, and then the other one uh, we were asking for specific help mm -hmm. for what it is that we have to deal with, whether the, the ship sails or, or, or rises or not. The League of Black Women, you're the, found, you're the CEO right I'm now. I'm the CEO. Yeah. What is it all about? What is that organization all about? It is the coolest organization <laughs> in the world because it was founded uh, in 1970 by a circle of women right here in Chicago who also were the coolest because at the time in 1970, we were on the bounce. Everything looked like it was going to do and be. We were going to go to college. We mm -hmm. were going to get great jobs. We, were gonna, we already had businesses in our community, mm -hmm. and so we were just going to be part of the boom. And these women circled around an idea that they needed to forecast the prospects for black women to determine if it was really going to be what we had hoped it would be. Mm -hmm. And so in that way, I could call them early futurists. Yes. But the bottom part of it is, is Arnita Young Boswell was our founder, mm -hmm. and the women connected to her asked the question, let's forecast the prospects for our prosperity. And also at the same time, the league is charged with calling the shots when it is not going according to the plan. Sandra Finley, we're going to come back after the break and talk a little bit more about the League of Black Women and some tips that you have for women right now. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back.